Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of April, so stick around. So today I wanted to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of April. It was a, a slower month than usual um, from some of the previous months. Um, but there were some really good weeks. We did have five weeks in the month of April, so I am going to show you these week by week. Now, there are some titles that I'm still waiting to receive from Kino Lorber that I ordered directly from the website. So I won't have everything that I ordered this time around, but I am going to show you what I did get. So the first week was a pretty big week. We got these still books from Walmart. So we have The Avengers. Guardians of the Galaxy, Black Panther, and Doctor Strange. If you'd like to see a closer look of those, I did do an individual um, video for each of those if you'd like to check that out. Um, I got this Blu-ray here, um, Slow Ride Live in Concert, which I haven't checked out yet. Deep in the Heart. I want to say this right here might have been a Vinegar Syndrome order from one of their partner labels. Um, I haven't seen it yet. Then I got the Ronin uh, 4K still book from the UK. And I also got the media book. I do like getting the media book, so I picked that one up. Another media book that I got that was released here in the US was Stigmata. I got Baby Assassins 2. Some more Walmart releases. I got um, First Blood and Rambo. Um, still books. I did individual um, unwrappings of those on my channel if you'd like to check those videos out. I also got the um, red two film collection still book from Walmart, which I did an unwrapping of. Cutthroat Island, another Walmart release that I unboxed. Then we have Major League on 4K with this really nice looking slipcover. And also this excellent looking still book that I did an unwrapping of if you'd like to check that out. So all of those came out during the first week of April. The second week of April was very light. Um, I got Abandoned, The Abandoned, which I haven't checked out yet. Mean Guns, MVD Rewind Collection. I love these releases. I love the slip covers that they do with the stickers and everything. From Keno Lorber, I got the Minus Man, Night Swim, Monster. From Shop Factory, I got Lost in Space, Lisa Frankenstein, and then for that second week, I got King Kong, the still book. I did an unwrapping of this also if you'd like to check that out. Now, the third week was very light, not very much at all released that week. I did get Jack Ryan, the final season. I haven't checked out any of the Jack Ryan series. I do need to hopefully one day be able to watch all of those. I got the day, I got the cold, I got that cold day in the park, an arrow release from the UK. And then from Second Sight, I got the Borderlands. So those are the titles that I picked up during the third week of April. Now during the fourth week of April we had quite a bit of releases. Some really good ones that I'm really happy about. One of those is Vertical Limit from 88 Films with this really nice slipcover. I got the um, movie release for Priscilla. I, I did watch Priscilla when the, when the US release got released. Um, it was okay. I had already ordered this. I do try to get all the movie releases with a slip. I got Kung Fu Panda 4K with a still book from the UK. Also from the UK, I got Kind Hearts and Coronets on 4K. I got the Lavender Hill, the Lavender Hill Mob release. I got Mono, uh, Monolith, Drive Away Dolls. I got Goodbye Uncle Tom. This right here is a Blue Underground 4K release, which I'll try to get all of those. This right here is a thick box too, so <clears throat> kind of an unusual packaging. I got Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 2 Blu-ray release. like the artwork on that. 
Then from Indicator, I got the Demoniacs and the Nude Vampire. I got the big the Beekeeper on 4K. Still Magnolia's 4K. And I got the Departed 4K release with a slip. And also the Still Book. I did an unwrapping of that if you'd like to check it out. And then lastly for that um, fourth week, I got the Kingdom Trilogy. This is another movie release. This is a box set. And this is a TV series, I do believe. So I look forward to eventually checking that out. Okay, for the final week, I got Lawman Bass Reeves, Ordinary Angels from Shop Factory, a limited, re uh, limited release for The Getaway, and also Death and the Maiden. From Vinegar Syndrome, I got World War III, which I think this is one of their partner labels. From Radiance Films, I got The Boss, and I also got Suzu, Suzu River. From Arrow, I got Basket Case, the 4K release, the store exclusive, with this really nice shiny slip. I did get Madam Web on 4K Steelbook. I got mine from Walmart, but I know it's a wide release. I also got the 4K Slipcover Edition. And then I got the Ocean's 11 still book, Ocean's 12, Ocean's 13. I also got the Ocean's Trilogy from the UK still book. I did unwrappings of all of those if you'd like to check those out. I also got the slipcover editions for the Ocean's Trilogy. And I got Mean Girls, the recent release on 4K. And then the classic release, this right here was the 20th Anniversary Edition, 4K with a slip and with a pink um, case. And then lastly, I did get the, um, for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier 4K still book, Obi-Wan Kenobi Season 1, or the complete series, Moon Knight, the complete series, um, the complete first season, and Andor, the complete first season. So those are all of my pickups during the month of April. Like I said, it was a lighter month, um, but still there was a lot purchased. And like I said before, I am still waiting on some items. But please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the items that I picked up. And also let me know what you picked up during the month of April because I really do enjoy reading your comments. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today, and we will see you next time.